This is the Hidden Killers podcast with Tony Bruschi. Featuring retired FBI special agent Jennifer Coffindaffer. Really disturbing uh, the mom, Chad's mom, taking the stand. Uh, and uh, let's just take a look at our first clip of her uh, talking about meeting Lori for the very first time. 2019. Did you and Jack travel to Idaho? We did. Did you meet with Chad at a Texas roadhouse yes. in Idaho Falls? Yes. Was it dinner time, lunch time? Dinner time. Okay. Now you, Jack, met Chad at the Texas Roadhouse. Was somebody else there? Yes. Who was that? Lori Vallow. Had you ever met Lori Vallow before? No. During that dinner, did Chad tell you and Jack anything about his relationship with Lori Vallow? I don't think he did as much as Lori did. Okay. What did Lori tell you? Well, she just, we noticed that the, these rings on and... My husband said, are you engaged? And they said, no, we're married. Were you surprised? Yeah. Did they tell you when they had gotten married? No. Now, on November 13th of 2019, this was approximately a month after Tammy's death. Is that why you were surprised? Yeah, I was. The dynamics there are kind of interesting. Doesn't sound like a relationship with mom and dad where there's uh, any room for criticism of Chad. <laughs> it's just kind of like, yeah, we were surprised. We got a blooming onion. We called it a day. Uh, it's uh, <laughs> you gotta gotta wonder what's your reaction to that? That uh, you know that she found out and it was just kind of like yeah, well they got married. You know I know that is a thing in in LDS um, to to get married rather quickly when they believe God tells them this is the right thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I I think that to me when I saw her testimony, it seems like she's definitely sort of holding back. I mean, her true emotions, that it was very calculated, her minimal responses. And uh, but the good thing was the prosecution got out of her. Uh, It was only a month later. Mm -hmm. And this is from his mom. So this witness is very credible. And uh, so I think the prosecution uh, put on somebody that is irrefutable to the jury believing believing her some pretty damning testimony that we're about to hear this is uh, when Lori opens up more about her family and some very interesting information about tylee take a look okay did chad or Lori tell you anything about whether or not Lori had been married before chad didn't did Lori? yes what did Lori tell you oh that she'd been married before yes well she just said that her husband had recently died did she say how he had died Heart attack. When Lori said that her husband had died of a heart attack, what did Chad say, if anything? I don't remember any any specific mention. Okay. And did Lori or Chad say anything about whether or not Lori had children? She said she had a daughter that had died. Do you remember how old that daughter was? She didn't say a date. Did she say anything about whether or not she had a young son? No. When Lori said that her daughter died, did Chad say anything that you recall? I can't. No, I don't think. At the end of that dinner, did you believe that Lori had a daughter who had died? Yes. Very interesting to show the timeline here of when she revealed that information to his mom and everyone else is still thinking that this young girl is out there staying with friends or something, but she's already spilling it that she's dead. Uh, Odd. Yeah, it's beyond odd, Tony. I mean, I think they were telling the mom the truth. Well, obviously, they told the mom the truth when they weren't showing the truth to anyone else. So, uh, yeah, I think this was really uh, mooted, yet powerful testimony, meaning it wasn't dynamic in a sense uh, because she was so quiet and unemotional, but it got through the messages, particularly the one you just pointed out, which is that time lapse that she admitted it to them. It, I mean, we there's a lot of ways where you look at this case and you're like, wow, they really kind of planned this out and, and were somewhat uh, conniving and, and really pulled it over on a lot of people. But in some people, they were just flat out honest, like this uh, case here. Uh, did they just get really lucky with how long they were able to, to carry this charade on for uh, where they should have been caught far earlier uh, in all of this uh, with I mean, just just their actions in general, just the, the the dumb excuses that they were giving people that people were buying. You know, I think it comes down to that individuals like this are seen as honest mm. 
mm-hmm. church going, you know, preachers, law abiding, you know, God fearing yeah. people. And no one wants to assume bad things. It's very difficult actually for most people because most people, this is beyond their comprehension. Mm-hmm. So it never occurred to them that they could be suffocating their wives and, and, you know, burning and, and dismembering their children. It's just not something that's on their radar. And so you people, normal people really do want to believe. I want to digress, Tony, really yeah. quick back to the question you yeah. had about how easily everyone was sort of convinced um, about uh, that the Tammy, it was initially thought to be in, you know, just in, yeah. she just died of natural causes. Tony, I, I think too, remember he was in that industry, if you will. True. In industry of dead people. And uh, so I think it was probably a pretty small community and likely he also might have had some influence because of that. Maybe they knew him from before. Yeah. If you got that trust there uh, and you look legit and you really don't have a track record that you can get away with a lot of stuff, it appears, uh, until uh, until you can't. And that's where we're sitting. Right. Now. Want to listen ad free? Want advanced access to all of our interviews before anyone else? Become a True Crime Today Premium Plus subscriber on Apple Podcasts. You get every episode commercial free. So you can binge on True Crime. Until you can binge no more. Search True Crime Today Premium Plus on Apple Podcasts now. Or go to our podcast page and sign up now. More of the Hidden Killers podcast next.